Good morning. It's Wednesday, August 21st, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, James the Just, Part 7, Loves Royal Law. And our scripture is James, Chapter 2. Yes, indeed, it is good when you obey the royal law as found in the scriptures. Love your neighbor as yourself. James remembered his brother Jesus telling this little story of the Good Samaritan. In the story, Jesus makes the Samaritan mongrel a hero and the religious Jewish leaders the mutts. That well-known, quote, little story teaches us four lessons about loving under the royal law of Jesus. First of all, we should love people even when it's unpopular. In Jesus' story, the Samaritan helped a Jew. He would have been trouble from both sides of that coin. The Jews would have hated him because they hated Samaritans. And the Samaritans would have despised him for having anything to do with helping a Jewish bigot. A little like the predicament you'd get if Jesse Jackson decided to join the KKK. The point is, no matter the popularity, love people anyway. Someone will always disapprove, but God will approve. He looks at your heart while others can only see through their prejudiced filters. A second lesson we learn is that we should love people even when it's inconvenient. There's no good time for ministry. The opportunity to minister and love others is something that comes upon you. In the story, the Samaritan was on a business trip. It wasn't pleasure. He was in the land of those that hated him but found it convenient to do business with him. The religious leaders had to be somewhere else, perhaps church meetings or whatever. They couldn't help. The Samaritan had stuff to do, too. He was just a bit more ready to love. If you're going to live by the royal law of love, you need to be ready when God is. A third lesson we learn is that we should love people even when it's unprofitable. It cost the Samaritan to care for that man. Besides the discomfort of other people's looks, he put the beaten man on his own saddle, and he walked while the wretched Jew rode. When they got to town, the Samaritan paid for the man's room at the inn. He even promised to pay back more if that's what it took. In every way, love costs. If it doesn't, it isn't really love. And great love is very costly. If you doubt that, go back to the Gospels and check out the cross. It costs God a whole lot to love your sin away. And a last lesson that we learned today is that we should love people even when it's uncomfortable. The Samaritan could not have been very comfortable with what he did when he took that first step toward the ditch. I can imagine what went through his mind. What am I doing here? I don't even know this guy. Man, this juice smells. Don't they ever wash? My wife is going to kill me. This money was supposed to buy a new milk cow. Oh, man, look at this guy's eyes. He's going to die if somebody doesn't help him. All right, come on, my little Jewish pain in the neck. Get up on that saddle. Samaritan pushover is going to give you a ride to the doctor. You and I have our comfort zones. The Samaritan didn't like the Jew, but he did love him. You'll probably experience discomfort when you love, but that's what happens when you live by the royal law of love. Favoritism and prejudice are sinfully wrong. It shames the poor, it divides the church, it leads people astray. But living as a follower of Jesus Christ means a higher road, looking up, loving. And loving, according to the royal law, it means loving even when it's unpopular, inconvenient, unprofitable, or uncomfortable. For you today, when you love others, God changes things. It's the way he sets things up in this universe. His rule is that mercy triumphs over judgment. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.